Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is rules for the first dates. So before we get into the video, I'll let you guys know, uh, this channel is for men and women who want to be the best they could be in all aspects of their lives. Not only dating relationships, but also mindset, health, and wealth. Be complete people in the best versions they can. And that is what this channel is all about. So, while I'm still on my journey, because honestly, becoming the best version of yourself is a constant journey. You never really get there. You know, so it's a lifelong journey. So now we got that out the way. I know we got some new people who've been here. I know we got some old people who've been here. To both of you guys, welcome. I appreciate it. And, uh, um, but for those of you who have not done so, subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll be notified for when I upload new videos. And if you just want to support me or if you like my videos, hit that like button. I appreciate it. So let's get back to the topic at hand. Rules for the first date. So this is an important video for people who like to go on dates specifically first dates and yeah you could really use these rules for any date but first dates are the ones that usually have the most pressure because you're generally meeting the person for the first time or you're meeting that person in a dating setting for the first time maybe you used to be friends now you're taking it to the next level so it is very important to Get a certain mindset and have set rules that you follow that will be indicators of whether the date is going well or not and whether to move forward with that person or not. So, you know, these rules will help you and really keep you on top of your game when it comes to the dating and really be able to help you um, uh, really see if this person is really for you or not. So the first rule which is always the most important. First is the most important. You got to know what you want from your date. Very important. You got to know if you're looking to maybe go into a relationship down the line or if you just want potentially just to hook up or maybe a friends with benefits. You got to know what you want because when you go into that mindset, everything else will follow. Your energy will follow. You know, your actions, your mannerisms, your facial features, your body language, you know what I mean? And then you'll be more willing to be a little bit more expressive about what you want once you get it in your mind. So once you know what you want from your date, then you just have to act on it. It's very important because some people, they'll know what they want, but then they get in the moment, they get a little nervous, and then they switch it up. So knowing what you want is not just having it in your mind, but actually acting on it. So that way you're able to get what you want. It's very important. Knowing what you want from your day. Number two, rule number two, you have to have confidence in yourself. And this isn't just in the date in general. I mean, the fact that you're going on the date, obviously you had to have enough confidence to ask the person out unless they ask you out either way you still got to have enough confidence to go on the date you know what i mean you gotta have enough confidence to go on the date um but then also you have to have enough confidence to go for what you want if you want to get a hookup and you just want to vet the person see if they're not crazy maybe you met them online you have to do what you got to do you know what i mean you have to have the confidence to go for what you want. Even if things you may be a little shaky at first. They may seem like they might not be down for what you want. You still got to pursue. Let them tell you they're not interested. Don't psych yourself out and uh, tell yourself they're not interested. You have to let them tell you they're not interested. If they're not interested in what you want. But you never know unless you, you go for it. You know what I mean? And obviously just feeling good about yourself. Whether they are interested or not. It doesn't matter. You know the dating is all about having fun fun you want to have fun on the date you know whether you know it goes anywhere or not it's all about having fun and you just spend your fun with somebody who uh you just met or who you're on the date with you know what i mean 
So number three, number three, rule number three, you have to flirt. You have to flirt. This is very important as well. Because whether you're looking for a relationship or a hookup, you want to make sure the person you are dating is sexually attracted to you. You know, and flirting is the easiest way to tell if somebody is sexually attracted to you. You flirt, if they're receptive, you keep on going on. Ideally, you want to have sex on the first date. If not the first, the second date. You know what I mean? But you want that sexual tension to be there. You know what I mean? At the end of the first date, you must have gotten a kiss. That was the benchmark, how you know the date went well. At the minimum, the kiss. If you, you have sex on the first date, cool. But you have to have gotten a kiss. Because with that, then you know she is at least attracted to you. And more than likely, she'll be willing to see you again. You know, your date will be willing to see you again. You know what I mean? So it is important that you flirt to make sure the person you're with is at least sexually attracted to you. I mean, if it's a business date or meeting, then cool. You don't have to flirt. You know what I mean? But this is for people who are on romantic dates. You know what I mean? So uh, you got to flirt. Very, 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 very important. So uh, rule number Four, you have to vet the person. You have to vet the person. Make sure they're not crazy. Make sure they're not clingy. You know what I mean? You have to vet them properly. Proper vetting will save you a lot of time in the long run. Make sure they're not liars. You know, make sure they're not needy. You know what I mean, if, if you're looking for a relationship, make sure they can cook, clean. Make sure they are actually highly sexual active or they are sexual active, at least for you. And again, that goes in terms with flirting as well. You know, so you have to vet the person. Make sure they will align with your game plan and what you want out of a potential relationship or friends with benefits, fuck buddy, whatever you're looking for. Make sure they will actually align with what you're looking for. You know, I mean, it's very important and first dates are good uh, for people who, you know, are looking more for vetting somebody. Again, if you're looking just to have sex, you don't need to have, go on a date just to fuck buddy or friends with benefits unless you met them online and, you know, it's just safer to do that for you. Uh, make sure, again, you're not dealing with somebody crazy. It's, it's just a vetting tool. You know what I mean? So. Vetting is very, very important. <sighs> Rule number five. Go where you want to go. Especially since you are setting the date, it doesn't really matter what the woman wants. You're going to hopefully surprise her when it comes to the date. And, and then on top of that, you're going to obviously choose the place. So when it comes to that, you have to make sure it's somewhere you want to go. It's not about her. Sure, you want her to have fun, but you want her to have fun with you. It doesn't matter where you're at. You want her to have fun with you. You know, y'all could be at a park, y'all, you know, chopping it up, having fun, laughing, doing whatever. Maybe you go to a bar. It doesn't matter where you want to go as long as you want to go there. It just doesn't matter where she wants to go. You know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at, let me say. But as long as you are having fun and she will, is having fun with you, that's all. But make sure you go where you want to go. Don't try to go to an expensive restaurant, try to impress her or some, you know, some crazy place. You know, Keep it simple, but go where you want to go. Very, very important. So final rule, um, rule number six, don't let it be expensive. This goes kind of hand in hand with the rule number five. Keep it simple. Don't spend too much money. Don't in attempt to oppress her. That's not the goal. The goal is to see if she fits in your game plan. That's the goal of the date, it's especially your first time going on a date with her or this person. 
you want to make sure that you are going to keep the price of the date at a minimum because you don't know this person. They haven't deserved an expensive date yet. You know what I mean? So you want to make sure the price of the date is is low. You know what I mean? So you get to feel out them for who they truly are and they get to feel you out for who you truly are. And it's not about the money. So yes, those are the six rules for first dates. But I do have a bonus. And this should be common sense. But you want to get there early. If y'all agree to get on the go to, on the date at eight o'clock, you want to, um, you know, get there maybe uh, seven forty-five, seven fifty, a few minutes before she does, or whoever you're on a date does. You want to get there early. It's very important. Um, getting there on time is cool, but you want to set the standard, you know. And obviously, if they're late, um, then you have to ask. Hey, when do you think you will get here? And according to the time they tell you, you say, hey, now let's just reschedule for another time or cool. All right, I'll see you when you get here. Sure, being late is never good. But as long as they let you know they have a good reason and they come within a reasonable amount of time, it's all good. You know what I mean? So things happen and sometimes you just have to adjust. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all here. Let me know if you like my rules. If you don't like them, you know what I mean? Let me know what I missed. If you think I missed them. Of course, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Be notified for whenever I upload new videos. And of course, if you disliked uh, the video, let me know uh, respectfully in the comments. How come you dislike the video so I can make better videos for you in the future? Again, this channel is not for me. It's actually for you guys. So I want to help you guys be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. You know, health, wealth, mindset, and of course, dating relationships. But let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know what I mean? Let me know what other topics you want to talk about. Um, but yeah, uh, of course, if you found value in this video, uh, any little donation counts. I appreciate donations. You know what I mean? So any donation you could, you know, you could afford to give, I appreciate it. But yes, yes, yes. Uh, that is all for this week. And um, next week, I will see y'all. Y'all be safe. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.